Well, Andrea Bishop is back. Welcome. Thank you. And we have a lot of uh, baby-themed quilts and projects on the table with us. Yes, we have babies on the brain at work, and um, well, you are expecting. Yes. <laughs> so uh, everything has to do with kids and kids' drawings. For instance, the birds in front of me—they're a little um, project we had one of the kids fill in, and I you couldn't draw a bird like that. I'm pretty impressed. Well, we drew the black lines and oh, had okay. them do the color. <laughs> so <laughs> you can actually make your own fabric using that, um, doing uh, all sorts of different effects and manipulations in quilt design software nowadays. Cool. So um, this was actually a little bit too dark for the quilt behind it. For this floor quilt, you wanted something lighter? Right. So we ended up moving over to the computer and drawing little applique birds that were a little more delicate, uh -huh. had nice legs. So you're using like a quilting software for this? Yes, and you can export an image of it and create your own fabric. So when you go find your little birdies, maybe you want the green version, with one click you have a whole sheet of fabric to use. So if I delete that and I want to print a white sheet, one click, I have a whole sheet of um, little birdies here and I can print that on printable fabric to make my own fabric. Oh, interesting. Um, so if I close that, then I can show you some other neat parts about doing this. Um, when you go to work on your quilt, you can actually set the fabric in the different places so of you can the design. You can audition it first before actually going to the fabric. You can audition it in the computer. Before you cut a piece of fabric, before you print a piece of fabric. And in this example, I can see that you, you did color the birds differently, and then you have three different fabrics here. Right, and that gave it a little basis for the color scheme. It also um, helped bring in the fabric that we did make. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're a, you're a fabric designer, Andrea. Ooh, I know. So let me show you another thing you can do. You can go in and design um, your own applique branches in addition to the birds and print out the templates for those. You can try out um, applique lettering and the birds on top and print out templates for those and you end up with a whole entire quilt design. Now, did, was, that, uh, was that writing in the computer or did you draw that? Um, you could draw it or you could use the fonts that you have on your computer. Okay. Um, but there's lots of neat things you can do with it. Um, you can also go in and maybe do some 3D effects on the birds. Maybe you want to swirl them around. <laughs> and you get kind of like those little, melting clocks. Yeah, they're, they're looking a little wonky, a little Tim Burtonish now. And um, you can choose one and choose where it bends. And <laughs> for that, um, that's how we created the oh, okay, the little blocks in here um, with the the different photo effects. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, let's take a look at how these resulted on fabric. So these were printed onto fabric that you can go, go right through your inkjet printer. Yes, and it's quite simple. I mean, one click and you have the image and then you print it out. And I can see these fabrics in this quilt that you pieced. And let's talk about the applique that you used for this quilt. The little, the brown branches. You wanted to play with different textures because this is going to be a floor quilt for a baby. Right. So tell me about these leaves because they're crinkling. Well, um, when you go to print, you don't, when you go to wash this after mm -hmm. the baby's been on it and stuff, um, you don't want to use any kind of uh, paper-based stuff because that could degrade over time. So actually we got some uh, foil gift wrap to put it in there and they make a and nice crinkling side. inside these leaves, how oh, fun. And then this is, this is feeling rather soft. Did you use this on the quilt? Right, we had um, limited options for colors in brown. So we ended up using a uh, fleece cap, a brown washcloth and other so items. So there's lots of different textures for this baby. Right, and we even made it interactive. You can pull on the little. So cute. 
little birdie, attach the ribbon and make it sit in the nest. Now this looks like something for mom. Well, this is something for mom to keep child busy. Um, you can showcase their artwork and encourage their artwork by taking a picture and scanning it and um, manipulating that image to create a little art mm, tote. So using that, that wonky Yes, effect. exactly. And here you could make a little pouch so to store cute. their their pens and pencils mm -hmm. and markers, keep some paper in there, and that will keep them busy when they need to sit still. That is so cute. Well, this would be a great gift for Mother's Day. Definitely. Well, this has been so much fun. I'm so inspired, and good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. And that is today's episode of Quilting Arts. I hope you enjoyed it and are inspired, and I'll see you next time.